Destruction All Stars is fucking boring. I mean, yeah. I could just literally end the video right there and say Destruction All Stars is just super goddamn fucking boring and bereft of content. And no matter, I don't give a flying crap if this is a free PS Plus game. That still does not excuse the absolutely ridiculous bare bones state that the game came in. And it's peddling on that thing of live services where these people will circle the wagons around it and go, Oh, well, it'll get better. It's just the beginning. This is just the beginning of the game. It'll get better. So, I feel like first impressions are everything in video games. And I'm sorry if this video just sounds really sporadic and negative, but I I wrote notes, actually, after spending quite a quite a while playing Destruction All-Stars, I wrote some notes down, and I'm staring at my notes, and I just don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care whatsoever about saying the words to talk about with this game in any way that's cr criticism or whatever, I just, I, I don't give a fuck, and I think that speaks to, I think that, to me, is a more damning indictment of destruction all-stars than anything i've written in these notes like literally all i've gotten these notes are just you know talking about the, the sneaky little microtransaction stuff that it does which it does that's here it's whatever again no excuse that it's a ps plus game it's whatever it's a sh it's a shitty fucking thing that they're doing with this and I'm, I'm willing to bet that Sony is banking on the fact that it is a free PS Plus game, that they are going to hide behind that. They're going to use that like it's a shield. And I'm not going to forget, though, that they initially wanted to charge $70 for this extraordinarily bare-bones, empty experience. And I guess once the drugs that Sony's executives were snorting... Once those wore off, they realized what a stupid idea that was and decided to make this a PS Plus game. But Sony have not confirmed that this is going to be $70 or less, whatever, at launch. But even if it wasn't $70, I, I can't justify spending something like $15, $20 on this. I really can't in my head. Because there are far better, more content-rich $70, uh, sorry, $15, $20 games out there compared to Destruction All-Stars. It's just, it's just so boring. And it just, I, I, I I've tried. I, I really, this is my, this is my fifth time. This is giving me like Anthem flashbacks. Not, not in the gameplay area, but in the way where I just play it and I just feel dead inside playing it. And I just, when I rec sit down to actually record it, I actually made multiple attempts to record a video about this before I just gave up and decided, you know what, I'm just going to speak from the heart and talk about whatever I want in regards to this content. This Destruction All-Stars thing. It's my goddamn channel, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I don't have to fucking make a regular video for anything that I don't want to. So here you go, you guys are getting the raw, unfiltered Razorblade Mango experience where I'm just sitting here in front of my fucking mic bumbling about this boring ass fucking game. This boring game that no one's gonna remember in a few months time once the latest hot shit comes out. This is gonna be one of those games that is destined to fail unless Lucid Games turns this around so extraordinarily fast, the likes of which I've never seen, unless they pull some kind of that's the seriously thing, it's not broken in any particular way, but it's just dull. It's worse. It's dull. It's forgettable. As big of a pile of dumpster fire crap as Final Fantasy XIV was when that first came out, you know what? At least that failure was memorable. This is this is just air. This Destruction All-Stars, it's just it's air. It reminds me of what the late great Roger Ebert once said, where he said he watched a movie and it just flew right through him it just felt like cinematic air this is the video game equivalent of air it just goes through you and comes out the other side and leaves absolutely nothing in its place it just leaves nothing of impact i'm gonna forget i even played this thing in a month's time i'm gonna look at it it's gonna i'm gonna keep it on my ps5's hard drive because thank god it's only 25 gigabytes and I'm going to go back and look at it in a couple months. And if I see that it has not dramatically turned around and they're charging 70 bucks for this fucking thing on top of the microtransactions, hell to the fucking no. There will be hell to pay at that point. 
this should have been free to play. It screams early access. It's just, it, this is the kind of shit you pay for on Steam for like 15 bucks. And even then, 15 bucks I think is stretching it paying for this. Which then, again, on top of that, it's going to ask you, oh, please spend money on our microtransactions. And this is what they're doing. This is this is why they did made it a free PS Plus game. Yes, besides the fact that this was such an obvious bomb. Like, it had bomb written all over it when they were charged 70 bucks for it. Now, with this PS Plus thing, they want to get you hooked on the microtransactions on via the cosmetics. And the cosmetics in this game are garbage. I spent a good few hours grinding out you know, currency in order to buy one of the premium skin, well, the only premium skin beyond what's exclusively offered in the little shitty challenge series, that's going to be, it, it's it's a stupid cosmetic, and because I, I was going to be damned if I was going to look at that and go, ha, yeah, you know, like, if I'm, I wasn't going to let this game beat me where it would, it would test my patience. I have enough patience to grind through this fucking game in order to get one skin, but I sure as fuck do not have patience to grind through this goddamn boring thing again and again and again in order to get all the premium cosmetics for all the characters. It's just boring. It's a waste of time. And beyond money, time is a commodity as well. You only have a limited number of years on this earth, a limited number of minutes, a limited number of months. Why in God's name would you spend that precious time playing fucking Destruction All-Stars when you could be literally doing anything else that's more worthy of your time? So, you know, it sounds like I'm bullying Destruction All-Stars, but you know what? Fuck that shit. Destruction All-Stars, you're going to get the, the honest truth from me, and the honest truth is is that this is a waste of time. This is not some, like, tiny little indie studio self-publishing it themselves, and if I was bagging on this fucking thing like that you know i could understand being called a bully and being told that i'm you know giving not giving this game as fair due but the fact that i can comfortably come and record this video of less than 48 hours after its release is a testament to how little there actually is in this game there is a minimal amount of content it's bare bones fuck bones have more meat on their flesh compared to destruction all-stars destruction all-stars has jack shit it's got four multiplayer modes that only two of them are available to play with friends so that cuts down on the content right there if you want to only play with friends and only one out of those four multiplayer modes is anything worth a shit carnado is a decent time and even playing that for so long as i did i grew bored of it i grew to just dislike it because of how like samey and repetitive it is and i just stopped giving a fuck after a while and then the, besides that, there's like the arcade mode, which is just bots. It's the same. It's the multiplayer modes with bots that offer no rewards. Then you have the practice mode, which is just it's what it is. It's the practice mode. And then you have the campaign series. This was the thing that they were telling you that you had to pay for. And thankfully, they give you one little free one that you can do. And the free one is a really good indication of what the rest of them are going to be like. And to that I say, how fucking dare you charge money for the rest of these? How fucking dare you? How dare you charge money for these seven challenges that are just boring and w two measly little cutscenes that pl one plays at the beginning and one plays at the end. And all those cutscenes boil down to is, oh, you're my rival. Let's go. And then at the very end, oh, I went against my rival, but I respect them. That's it. That's all you get as far as character motivation and backstory for these characters. That's it. I don't know what the fuck Lucid Games is talking about when they said that this this these little campaign things provide backstory. They might in the other ones, but I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money on finding out. Hell no. I'll go and watch them on YouTube and find that out. That would be a far more rewarding experience than actually grinding through these boring challenges in order to do that. And... Again, with the sneaky little microtransactions thing is that it costs 200 credits for the next one and then 400 for the next one, which why in God's name it's double the credits for the same amount of content for the third challenge is beyond me. I better not start seeing this trend where they're going to have it be like 400 credits for each one. So that's $4 per shitty little campaign thing. No. You know what you can buy for $4? Candy. Candy, it, it makes you feel good. It's delicious. It's flavorful. It, it leaves an impact. Just go buy some candy. The $5 that you would spend playing these shitty little campaign modes in Destruction All-Stars, 
Go out and buy yourself some candy. That will be far more enjoyable. And, oh, I haven't forgot. I, I see you, Sony. I know what you're doing with the little microtransactions. They're priced just below enough or just above what they offer as far as the packs to where you have to buy more in the microtransactions than you actually need in order to get the things. So for the 200 credits, you can't just buy 200 credits worth of stuff with your real life cash. You have to go into the microtransaction shop and spend $5 on the premium currency. Oh, but you have some left over? Well, go ahead and buy one of the cosmetics. You'll maybe get one of the shitty little voice lines, shitty little victory poses. The cosmetics in this game are shit. They're dog shit. Why the fuck would I pay $6 for a shitty little victory pose or an emote that I'm only going to use maybe once? It's just all the dumb, stupid live service crap that all these other publishers do is in this game. And Sony is just terrible at them. I don't want Sony to ever do another live service again. Sony, please, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are so good at single player games that have no microtransactions. That is your niche. Stay in your lane. Do not dip your toe into this live service stuff. You suck at it. And it's going to be proof when a couple years from now, this game is just going to be dead. It's going to just going to be a husk of what it was, what it is now. It's going to be the next bleeding edge. I've seen that from a ton of people. And I'll go a step further. This game gives me serious drawn to death vibes. It gives me serious hardware rivals vibes. And if you don't remember what those games are, then I will have proved my point. That the point proves itself if you don't remember what games I'm talking about. Sony is not good at live services, and this the fucking Destruction All-Stars thing is total proof of that. You should not feel bad criticizing this game even though it's a PS Plus game. You should not feel bad criticizing the microtransactions even though it's technically free with PS Plus. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Go out with that money that you would spend on the cosmetics and go buy something more pleasurable for yourself. Go buy some chips. Go buy some food. I don't know. It's it's the, Well, it's going to be Taco Tuesday at some point next week. Go take those $5 that you would spend on microtransactions in this game and go buy some tacos. Go enjoy yourself. Don't give that money to Sony. Sony makes enough money on the microtransactions with already the other fucking games on the PlayStation Store. You don't need to give them money hand over fist for these crap cosmetics. So, there you go. This is from the heart. Destruction All-Star sucks. Don't play it. 